Okay, so the story of how I accidentally met Lucari's mom. Let me tell you from the beginning, okay? Because it's a very fucking important how this all transpired. Last week, Lucari wanted his mom to bring over his PC, but we were moving. And I was like, the house is a mess. There's no way I'm going to meet your mom when the house is a mess. It's not happening. And I'm going to look a mess. It's just not happening. So we agreed that uh, she'd come and bring the PC, his PC, this weekend. Because I was out of town for a couple of days. I was out of town Friday and Saturday. And she was supposed to come on either Friday or Saturday, but she couldn't make it. And she said that she's going to come on Sunday. Now, I had multiple conversations with Lakari. Multiple conversations about how important it is to me to look cute, have the house not in a fucking disarray, and make a good first impression, okay? It was hella, hella, hella important to me. We had multiple conversations. I was like, did you get it? He's like, yeah, I got it. I'm like, but did you get it? Yeah, I got you. Chill, homie. I got you. And I was like, okay, you got it. Come yesterday, when I drove back to Austin, I drove back to Austin at like 7 in the morning because I just wanted to like get shit done. And I come back and it's like 10 a.m. By the time I arrived to Austin, it was like 10 a.m. And uh, Lakari's like, oh, hey, uh, I think my mom's coming today. But I'm not sure because she didn't come Friday or Saturday. So I don't know if she's actually coming. And I was like, okay, that's no big deal. Just let me know. Yeah, I got you. My naive ass little... My naive ass was like, surely he will tell me when his mom is coming. Because he said he would. And since she didn't come Friday or Saturday, we don't even know if she's actually coming on Sunday. The whole de Sunday rolls around. And um, what's interesting was mom didn't come. During this time, Lakari was at the competition. I was doing extra work setting up the server and doing other like stream stuff that behind the scenes just to get like get things done. So I'm in my hobo gear. I'm like in extreme hobo gear. I've got like hobo outfit on. I've got no makeup on. I am comfy and just chilling on my PC, doing all the things that I need to do as a streamer should do. Bing bong. I see a woman with two kids in front of my house and a dog, a little like chihuahua dog. And I'm like, okay, did they, did like a frisbee fly into the backyard? <laughs> <laughs> so on my phone, I have like an app that lets me look at the cameras and there's a camera for like the doorbell and I look at the camera, I don't know who they are. And so I'm like, ah, it must be a neighbor who, you know, had like a frisbee go in the backyard. They want to go in the backyard to pick something up. No big deal. I can go and like let them in and it's not a big deal to me. So I walk up to the door and I open the door and I'm like, hi, can I help you? And uh, the woman goes, hi, I'm Tramel's mom. It did not register in my mind at that moment. And, I'm, and I said, excuse me? Oh, did Tramel not tell you? I'm sorry? Yeah, I'm here to drop off his PC. Oh my God. Tramel's mom. I'm in my hobo gear. I am not dressed to meet people. And I'm like, ah, yeah, hold on one second. And I'm like taking off my hobo gear, trying to put on something decent. Oops. And, and I, I'm not wearing a bra. I'm like bleeding out of my bahuha, so God knows if I have a blood stain going on. And, she, and I'm like, oh yeah, come on in so comfortable. The house has boxes everywhere. Fucking everywhere. And Lord have mercy, they're like, oh wow, this is a nice house. Oh, thanks. It's We're still unboxing. And they're like, yeah, we're just here to drop off the PC, no big deal. And so his niece and nephew were the ones that were uh, bringing the PC, the monitor and everything up. And I was saying hi to them. They didn't say a fucking word to me. She's like, oh, they're so excited to meet you, especially her. And, he, and the mom points at the knees, and I give her a hug. And I'm like, oh, wow, it's so good to meet you. I'm sorry about the house. It's in complete disarray. And the 
Mary's mom's like, yeah, when you get it all fixed up, just invite us back. And I'm like, I will definitely, I will definitely do that. I was so fucking angry that mid moving the PC, I actually called Lakari and went, your mother is here. And he's like, oh, cool, is my PC coming in? And I went, mm -hmm. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, you just tell him to go set it up. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? I'm at the competition right now. I can't keep talking. Oh, yeah, we'll talk later, Lakari. We're going to talk later. And he's like, yeah, 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 we'll talk. Got to go. Bye. So mom drops out the PC. She sees that the house is a mess. And I'm like, I'm so sorry that it looks like this. And she's like, oh, it's not a problem. And she promptly left. She literally drove an hour and a half, dropped off the PC, turned around, and fucking left. Never in my Asian fucking ass have I ever had a guest come over, didn't have food for them, didn't have a seat for them, didn't look like a non-hobo. So Lakari comes home, and I'm like, hey, asshole, your PC's up in your room. And he goes, oh, cool. I'm like, no, not cool. We need to talk right now. I got my PC. Nice. <laughs> I was like, please, Lakari, this is important to me. I wanted to have a good first impression with your mom. He's like, ah, she's chill. You'll meet her plenty of times afterwards. And I was like, oh, my God. This man does not get it. He does not get why the first impression fucking matters. We had a... We had a conversation, <laughs> and at the very end, he was like, oh, where? He's like, oh, okay, I get you. But yeah, that was the first time I accidentally met Lucari's mom. And here, I thought she was a neighbor who lost her frisbee in the freaking backyard. 